Good morning and welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And this is a breaking news video. As I'm sure that you all have heard, this morning, early morning, the president did announce to him and his wife, Melania Trump, did test positive for the COVID-19. This all stems, I believe, from what I've been gathering on the news this morning from a person named Hicks, which was one of his close advisors, and then she's been in contact with him um, and writing with him uh, in a lot of his different meetings and rallies and everything else. The question still stands is what's going to happen at this point. Uh, they are saying that at this point he is still in good health and, and Melania Trump, but we just don't know how long this is going to go on and what kind of events are going to take place over the coming days or weeks. Now, Mike Pence and his wife, they did test negative. Uh, they were tested this morning and so, so far they are in the clear. Now, one would think that with the whole thing that's been going on, maybe you should have wore a mask, but you know, to each their own. You know, uh, one big thing that is going on right now, um, I'm taping this, it's about 9.15 in the morning. Um, the stock futures, that they've, they're have they taking a huge tumble. And this is what one of the main things that uh, a lot of us were concerned about. If something did happen with the president and he did come down with this, how would it affect the markets? And it's not just for, um, affecting our markets, it's affecting global markets. Uh, stock futures have slid on the news of, you know, Trump's positive COVID-19 case. Um, the S&P right now is down uh, 69 points. The Nasdaq's down 281 points. The Dow is down 480 points. And then, like I said, this is of pre-numbers, you know, overnight numbers. Uh, the stock market hasn't opened as the time I have done this video. Uh, world markets. Uh, Japan is down, um, England is down, Germany is down. Uh, right now, Hong Kong is barely holding on to a, a, uh, a plus. Um, a lot of the commodities have gone down. Crude oil, natural gas, gold, and corn are all down. Uh, gold is down the less. It's down 11%, or 0.011%. Uh, the Canadian dollar, uh, that is down against the American uh, the currency. The euro is down. Uh, the yen and the pound are still in the plus side. Um, a lot of the big corporations and stuff, all their stocks are down. Now, one would also want to think, you know, that the president is 75 years old and what is, you know, some of his, uh, uh, what could, criteria does he fall in as far as with this COVID-19? Now, I printed this little chart right here. Comes right off the CDC. Now, at his age bracket, he is eight times higher to be hospitalized or death by what the CDC is saying in his age bracket. Now, the death rate in his age bracket compared to a normal person is 220 times higher between the ages of 75 and to 84. Now, one would think that, you know, with him being in that category, you'd want to make sure that when you're doing your rallies and everything else, or you're going and seeing people or whatever, you would be wearing a mask. Personally, I think he should have been wearing a mask, even in the White House, even though he said that he did not want to. He is the president of the United States, and he needs to be protected. Whether you like Trump or you don't like Trump, that's the way it should be done. I understand that they do do the testing on everybody that walks in there, but this is what happens now when you just don't because now they have to do the contract uh, testing and go back and figure out who all was in contact with all these people, Hicks, with Melania Trump, with Trump and everything else and find out and quarantine them. Now you're talking, you could be quarantining a lot of government officials. This could have a huge effect 
on what is taking place. Now, granted, as long as they do not um, get deathly sick and have to end up in the hospital, they probably can perform a lot of their job duties from home. So this was just a quick breaking news update on what is going on in case nobody out there has seen the news this morning or anything. Uh, President Trump and Melania Trump, um, he announced on Twitter early this morning uh, they, they do and they did test positive for the coronavirus. So stay tuned. If we get any more breaking news or anything throughout the day today, I will try to get a video done and get it out to you to keep you informed. And make sure you stay tuned and, and tune in Sunday morning at 8 a.m. for my News of the Week series that I started. And that's every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. So I look forward to seeing you then. Survival Preparedness for Beginners, catch you all on the flip side.